Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by Yukonuba, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. Meet Diesel. He is no ordinary Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Diesel works for South Africa's Endangered Wildlife Trust's Carnivore Conservation Programme. Today, Diesel and Handler Kelly have been called in to work on a special project with conservationist Wim Vorster. If I need some assistance on the reserve, I'll, I'll give Kelly, uh, Kelly a call and ask if Diesel is available, <laughs> because quite, quite often he is a bit busy with some other projects. Luckily, Ritflay is situated very close, so, uh, so it's, it's not too far for them to drive it. The team will be tracking the fastest animal on land, the extremely endangered African cheetah, at the Reedflay Nature Reserve. Obviously we're working in areas where there's, where there's large, large dangerous animals. Um, in some cases we've even had to have armed guards when we've been working in areas with lions. So we decided that the best option is going to be to work him in a short lead and therefore not endanger diesel, which is obviously the most important thing. A dog's natural instinct can be incredibly useful for conservation. Diesel's tracking abilities are being used to locate cheetah faecal droppings, known as scat. Diesel has had a huge impact on Vim's research. Well, it, it always helps to, to have a, a staffy like Diesel to, to give me a hand. Driftfly is a reserve with very tall grass, especially in the summer after rain. And for me to try and walk through the grass looking for cheetah scat, it's basically like looking for a needle in a haystack. By analysing scat, researchers like Vim are able to determine species, sex, and even the cheetah's individual identities. With this information, he can estimate population size and distribution, crucial information necessary to try and save the species. The African cheetah population is in rapid decline, and over the past 50 years, the species has become extinct in 13 countries. We've only got less than 250 breeding pairs of cheetahs in South Africa, which is why they're, they're, they're vulnerable. But it's, they aren't vulnerable because they've got any problems breeding, they're vulnerable because there's not enough habitat for them. With cheetah numbers coming under more pressure than ever before in history, the need for fast, efficient ways of assessing population size and tracking changes in their habits and movements is becoming ever more urgent. In the long term, Diesel's contribution is actually helping to save the cats. Using dogs in research just makes life so much easier. We were running a research project on cheetahs on a reserve further north in South Africa and we had researchers on the ground full time. We went along with Diesel and it took the researchers on average something like, I think it was 26 hours to find one scat and it took Diesel an average of an hour of scat. 